Hey everybody, Sean here with Zero to Income and what we want to do is cover some troubleshooting steps when you are setting up your opt-in page. You've got a free lead magnet that you're wanting to provide to people after they give you their name and email address. And what you're finding when you go to test it, you've got your form all set up and you've got the name field set up, you've got the email set up, everything's good, right? And you go to test it and it's not working. Uh, you pop in a test name, you pop in a test email, you click on uh, access my program and nothing. Uh, if we go over here, we've got two email addresses right now that were there previously from previous tests. Um, and again, if we go into this and we test it, we're going to find that it doesn't work. So a couple things to keep in mind. Number one, um, the, the most obvious thing that comes to mind is are you using an email a name and email that's already in the system and so that's something that that you might run into so the very first thing you want to do is just test and then we'll use my test gremlin warrior at gmail.com now with a gmail address uh, in order to make sure that it's a new address you can add uh, this is my regular email. Uh, feel free to email and say hello if you'd like. But if you want it to be different, I can still use my regular Gmail address and I can just add plus and then test one. And this works really good if you're signing up for other people's stuff. Maybe you're signing up for uh, something on CNN. So it would be my email plus cnn.gmail.com. And so it's just a way of letting yourself know what is this email for and then it also lets you know if they go and give your email away, it'd be like, hey, why does Netflix all of a sudden have my email for CNN? Uh, I wouldn't have used that for, for Netflix. So that's uh, another kind of trick for adding this plus when you're using a Gmail address. And it works with some other uh, addresses as well. Test it and see. So anyway, if we go in here and we do access my program, actually, I already did. Yeah, um, let's do test two because I might have already tried it. We'll do test two, and there's my thank you page. Now, if we go over to the dashboard, guarantee it right now, nothing's there, nothing at all, okay? And if we go to my email, um, I can go in there and look at my email, and again, there's nothing showing up. Here's what's going on with this, okay? If we go back, uh, I'm just going to exit out of this, and if we do a preview, everything looks fine, right? But if we go back to our editor, when you are collecting an email right here, your button has to be a submit form, okay? And then if you want it to go to like a thank you page that might not be then the next step, uh, if we go to our editor here, I'm going to do a duplicate tab. And sure, we're going to do yes. And then we're going to go out of here. Yes, keep, just keep saving. What we have here is our thank you page, which is the next step. All right, so what you saw there after I filled it out was the thank you page. So if you wanted to go to the next step, you could. If you want, maybe your thank you page was down here, right? And then you need to go and do this. You copy the link, and then you would go back up here. And instead of the next step, it would be to a custom URL. And then you would pop in the URL. In this case, we're going to go back here, and it is going to be the next step. We're going to put that right back up there. And we'll go back over here. And again, we make sure that it's submit form. And then we go over here to next step. And we don't really need an automation rule at this point. Um, I've got you know this, this dialed in already the way I want it. My, my main thing here is just troubleshooting to make sure that uh, I get an email and everything. So we're just going to go ahead and click on save changes. And now we will go ahead and test it. We will click on the preview icon. That opens it up. Okay, so we're going to do test again. Pop into my oh, email address here. And this time we'll do, do plus test three. And then we'll do an access program. Should go to our thank you page. Ah, it's not working. Okay, let's go back. Should be going to the next step. Okay, so since it doesn't want to work, well, we'll, we'll, you know, go ahead and we're going to just go and we're going to go to the thank you page and we're just going to do that then. We're going to go back and try that. We're going to go and use the drop down instead of going to the next step. We are going to go to a custom URL and we will try that and then we'll save changes and then we'll do that. Let me just go to the dashboard real quick. Yep. No, no uh, stuff coming up. Still nothing. 
Okay, let's try this again. And still doesn't want to work. Let's try doing this live and see if maybe it's just being stupid. Plus test four at gmail.com and now we'll try it. There we go. All right, so now we'll go over to our dashboard. We'll do a refresh. And if everything's working right, we should see an email. And there it is. We got it. So uh, there you have it. We have our contact is now working. So the, the goal here is uh, make sure that your button is set to submit form. And then again, test it like I did now, uh, just did. And if you run into issues, uh, do some troubleshooting steps and do some tweaks. In this case, we did need to set it up to go to a specific URL. Should have worked going to the next step, but that's what you want to do for troubleshooting your opt-in form. If for some reason you're not getting the actual email going in your system. If you're liking these videos, we do have a whole series of system.io videos that you can subscribe to. Uh, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching, everybody.